Chapter 10, problem 5. So this problem is in the section 10-2 for rotational variables, and basically it's covering the following main concepts. Uh, we got some uh, kinematics here, what we're doing, and these guys are here, and a little bit of this. So basically main concepts 1 and 2. All right, let's get into it. So this is a... Um, this problem is about a slice of buttered toast accidentally pushed over the edge. So you've got to make um, an assumption that it starts. So here's the table. Whoa, that's a crazy table. Okay. Um, make an assumption that it starts butter side up. Right? Buttery, 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 butter. So when it falls, it starts butter side up and then rotates a little bit that way. So that one, this little line will signify butter side up. So it rotates that way, a little more, then it becomes this, and then it keeps spinning around. Like this, butter side down completely, and then it keeps spinning around. Um, and it says it uh, says one rotation or less, so we're gonna go all the way around until essentially we've rotated once, which would be this. So we start butter side up, and we end butter side up. That's one rotation. So this is like zero pi. Ninety degrees would be uh, pi over two. One eighty degrees would be pi. Two seventy would be three pi over two, and this would be two pi, a full circle. So it says it can uh, fall one revolution or less, and the distance to the floor is seventy six centimeters. So this is. We'll just convert zero point seven six meters. Um, and it wants uh. It wants the smallest angular speed and the largest angular speed where it will hit butter side down or topple butter side down. So you can probably imagine if it, for example, if it hits here, it's going to topple down this way, butter side up. If it hits here perfectly, it might bounce straight up. But anything uh, rotating more than this will topple butter side down. This you can see it's going to fall this way, butter side down, butter side down. This already is butter side down. This one will flip backwards that way, butter side down, even though it over rotated, all the way until you hit this point where it, um, it would stand straight up again. And then this is butter side up. So butter side down happens basically from here to here. All right. So that's the, those are the two endpoints that we're going to use to find our minimum speed and our maximum speed. First off, that we need to figure out how long it takes to fall. That's just basic kinematics. In fact, we can even use linear kinematics because the center of mass of the toast, even though it's spinning, is just falling straight down according to free fall, sort of, I guess, linear, uh, one, one dimensional motion, projectile motion. So we could use delta y equals v initial t plus one half a, whoa. Um, Big eraser. One half a t squared. We know the height is 0 0.76. We start off at rest, so that's 0 plus 1 half times 9.8 times t squared. Solve for t, and you get 0 0.399. Now, our minimum angular, this is part A, that's minimum, right? Uh, yep, smallest angular velocity um, required to do this. Basically, how fast does it spin so that it lands, it just rotates a quarter revolution from here to here. 
so that omega minimum equals theta over t, which in this case is pi over 2 over 0 0.399. And so that's going to be uh, basically 4 radians per second rounded. 3.99. Part B, the maximum is if it rotates three quarters of a revolution. W max equals theta over t, which is 3 pi over 2 over 0.399. And that gives you 11.97, basically 12, I should have rounded, but whatever, radians per second. So you got to go a bit faster, it's like three times faster, which should make sense because you're rotating three times as far, right? One half, two halves, three halves. And so, yeah, that should make sense. And that's the problem. Six minutes. Stop.